Hello, everybody. Welcome back to another Saturday Anything Goes. I hope you're having a great weekend. The sun finally came out today, and so that always puts a smile on my face. But what else puts a smile on my face? Free stuff. What do I mean by that? Well, our mini catalog and um, celebration will be starting January 4th, I believe. And if you've been with Stampin' Up! long enough, you know that celebration is just a huge, huge um, deal every year because you get free stuff. So if you order either $50 um, from the regular catalog or mini catalog or $100, either one, those are the two different uh, price groups where you can earn free stuff. Hello, Karen. Hi, Betty. Um, so I thought since we were able to do some pre-ordering, um, there's a lovely, lovely set in um, Celebration. I'm used to either seeing like maybe stamps or maybe paper or maybe dies, but this year you get all three. And it's the lovely lily pad stamp set. And then we have dies that go along with it. And this is just a sample of the beautiful, beautiful paper um, that you can get. So a full stack of 12 by 12 designer series paper um, that you can get for free with a qualifying purchase. So we're going to step away from our reds and greens and Christmas time just to work with some pretty blues and some pinks. And we're going to make a fun fold card tonight. All right, I will bring out my goodie bag. As you know, I like to keep everything at least semi-organized. And this is going to be a fun fold card that you've seen me make before. Um, it's really uh, pretty simple. We'll also be using, oops, shake the camera. So um, the one of the uh, sentiments from Beautiful Friendship, as well as this is another celebration set happy birthday to you. So we'll, we'll pull our inside and outside sentiments from both of those. So we're going to do a little bit of stamping, a little bit of die cutting. It'll be fun. Our predominant colors we're going to work with are going to be Flirty Flamingo and Bermuda Bay. That's a color I don't really get to use um, very often. I don't know why, um, but this lily pad paper really partners up well with it and we'll also do just a little bit of blending okay so we got our stamp sets we've got our colors and this is everything we're going to need to make our card we are going to start with a card base that um i always start with a regular four and a quarter by five and a half so four and a quarter folded is five and a half that's my standard top folding card base we're going to flip this on the side and i actually cut off uh 2.75 inches so cut in half the top part because we're going to put something on here that will make it our fun fold car hello gene hope your weather is doing well in north dakota all right so we're going to put this aside for now because we've got some things that we need to do ahead of time and one of those is, as I bring together everything here. Okay, where's my piece of white paper? I thought I had die cut it already, but perhaps I hadn't. We're going to have an inside panel like we normally do. But if I put the uh, sentiment, inside sentiment, on the inside, well, it's going to kind of show through, right? So this is where our fun fold comes in. Because what you do is you figure out if you want a rectangle, a square, an oval, whatever it is that you would like. And we're going to, this is my mat in Flirty Flamingo. And then we'll have um, some whisper white that I'll use the rectangle die for and that is going to cover up our inside sentiment while still making it a fun fold so let's see here and I can't believe I was positive that I already cut my 
white piece, but yeah, that's, that's fine. That's just fine. And I'm going to cut this before I stamp. I know they say it's usually better to do your stamping and then die cut because that way you can make sure that you have it on straight. Um, but I do things backwards all the time. So it's just visually for me, it tends to work better if I've got the piece already cut out. So we'll just snip that down. And I've got my big shot right next to me here. And we will go ahead and run that through. Pardon if the camera shakes. I know I cut that piece. Watch, I'll find it right after we get off of our session. All right, so here we go. There's my rectangle. I will be mounting it or matting it, so I'll probably have to cut this down a little bit. And then that is going to go there. But we also need something pretty for the left-hand side here. So this is where the uh, Lily Pad Impressions Designer Series paper comes in. And I really love this very kind of soft look to uh, Lily Pads on water. So this was the one that I decided to use. And I did use a stitched rectangle. For that but I can tell you if you don't want to use a st stitched rectangle your piece would measure um, just over two and a half by four and we're just gonna go ahead right now and glue that down so we'll get that out of the way oh look at that side is that not beautiful beautiful hello Roz So hubby is progressing well with his physical therapy. It's so good to be home with him. We've had all kinds of therapists come over and the nurses come over. And would you believe this? His doctor even made a house call yesterday. Yep, they still do that occasionally. All right, so we've got that done. Why don't we go ahead and get our inside sentiment out of the way? Because that way um, it's just one less thing to worry about. And when I put this on, I can make sure that it covers my sentiment. For this, on the outside, we're going to be putting birthdays are the best days. So that's what will fit on this piece here. And so for the inside, I've just got a big old happy birthday. And I am going to stamp that in Bermuda Bay. Come on. Open. There we go. You can tell I haven't used that much. It's still pretty stiff. So we'll just ink this up. Line this up on my grid paper. And I want it right about there. Oh, I love that font. That is so, so great. All right, so that is part of the inside but I have another piece I want to show you before I glue it down in part of your uh, lily pad dies is this die right here it is beautiful so I took some flirty flamingo cardstock and I cut um, that out and what I'm going to do with this because I just want a little bit of it peeking out not the whole thing so I'm playing around to decide do I want the rounded part or do I want the pointed part and what will determine that if I can lift this up here is what will fit the best because while I can move my inside panel a little bit I don't want it overflowing so that's the rounded side oops let me pick that up so you guys can see it. If I can get it back there again. I need like one more hand or at least a few more fingers. Okay, so it would look like that. Really pretty. We do a little bit of trimming. So that's the rounded part, but we've also got the pointed part. So I thought I'd play around with that too. And I'm thinking 
while the pointed part is cute, I like the rounded because it's a little bit more of a, it's a softer look to it. And I get, actually get more of the flirty flamingo showing through. So it's got this nice center strip. I'm going to run some glue along the edge here. Just a thin, thin line. Don't go overboard. Just like that. And then... I have to hold this up so I can do it right. Whoop, I almost did it backwards. I've got that line there is a good reference point for me to make sure that it lines up well. And now I'll just come in with my scissors or you could use your snips and just trim that off just like that. All right. I just love the extra interest that it gives it. We'll go ahead and glue this whole thing down now. I'm telling you, this is not going to take us any time at all today. We are going to kind of have a little fun, though, with some, a little technique with our die cutting and our blends. All right, so there we go. It's coming together nicely. I will need to trim down my flirty flamingo mat, but I can see... That is covering up my happy birthday really well. So what are we going to do with this? Well, another of the dies that's in the set is this one right here. And it's really a pretty, pretty die. It does not cut out any of the stamped images. So it's a standalone. But for what I want to show you, um, I really wanted to be able to use this. So I've already pre-cut it out of the Flirty Flamingo. So we've got our mat here. And I'm going to have this be right about there, which should leave me just enough room for birthdays are the best days. The question is, do I want to do it in the Bermuda Bay, like I did the inside, or should I use the Flirty Flamingo? And, you know, I'm leaning towards the Flirty Flamingo mostly because my um, lily, my die-cut lily, is that color. So I think we're going to give that a whirl. So birthdays are the best days, and that came from the beautiful friendship stamp set okay pardon my head if it gets in the way i'm going to try and line this up as best i can give it a good press oh that's good 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 all right so i could just glue this down and then mat it on this and put it on that and mm, yeah it'd be pretty but, you know, I was thinking, I really want some more color on here. And my lily is pretty, but it, you know, it wouldn't just be pink and white like that. And if I just backed it with flirty flamingo cardstock, it really doesn't complement it very well. It kind of almost takes away from it. So here's what we're going to do. Let me pull out a piece of paper. This is going to be crazy, I know, but just bear with me here. Figure out about how much I need. So that'll do. And now, call me crazy, I am going to take my Flirty Flamingo Light Blend. And we're just going to scribble all over this card with it. I don't care if it's splotchy. I don't care if some of it's darker than others. I just want to lay down some color. I can even change directions if I want to. So don't want too many white spaces, but a little bit is always good. All right, just like that. Okay, crazy Linda, what the heck are we doing? Well, I'm going to take and glue that die cut to the paper. Now my lily has some lovely color behind it. The streakiness just makes it look 
even more natural than it is. And then what I'll do is fussy cut it out. Well, Linda, you say, why wouldn't you use the dye? Well, remember the dye cuts out the middles of the petals, so that would defeat what I'm trying to do. So I'll just go in here and very gently, and luckily I'm working with a tube that uh, I've had open for a while so it doesn't all come out in a gush. It will come out though, won't it? Yep, there we go. So just very light. Don't need a lot. So that it will stick to that piece of paper that I just covered with the blends. I just thought it was kind of fun to do. I mean, I really did want color. I tried Blushing Bride and Petal Pink, but they just weren't colors that seemed to go well with the colors in the DSP. And that's when the light bulb went off. And Linda, I says, what about the light color of Flirty Flamingo Blends? That'll work, right? And yay, it came out well. Okay. So I've got that down, a little extra glue there I'm going to wipe off. Just make sure that it's firmly pressed down. And now I'll take my snips. We love our snips, don't we? Nice and sharp and perfect for fussy cutting. Okay, and then this shouldn't take long at all because basically all I'm doing is following my die cut. And you know, if I get a little more of the underneath paper shows through, I'm not going to sweat it. Just do the best that I can. My fingers are sticky. So I'm trying not to press down with my finger. All right. So luckily I don't have to cut out all the middle petals. <laughs> or we'd be here for a while. But... When you're doing your fussy cutting, remember, turn the paper, not the scissors. And that way you tend to get a much closer cut. I love fussy cutting. I don't know why. To me, I find it relaxing. I've heard other people, it drives crazy. But it used to drive me crazy when I didn't know about turning the paper because, oh my gosh, my cuts would be so uneven and I'd chop off half of what I didn't want to and leave a big chunk of what I didn't want behind. So letting that paper do the work by turning it makes all the difference. All right, last little cut here. And voila! Now, when I put this down here, check it. Is that not just cool? I love it. I love it so much. All right. Let me see how much I need to trim my mat. So this is three and an eighth by one and three quarters. Oh, I wonder if I can use. Have you all seen this? It's a mini paper trimmer, and it's guillotine. So, we're going to give this a whirl. So, what did I say? This needs to be... So, I should make this three and a quarter by two. And that should work well. All right. So, three and a quarter. I love that sound by two. And it cuts nice and even. So yeah, that's going to be a neato thing to have for those little cuts that you need. All right, so we'll glue this on there just like that. You know what, guys? I think I need to take just a little sliver more off of the bottom of this. So instead of two, we'll do it at one and seven eighths. Don't you love it? 
And look, clean edges. That's what really makes me happy. Yep, that'll work just fine. All righty. We are in the home stretch for putting everything together. So we'll glue this down. And just squiggle it around. Probably could have taken a little bit more off, but you know, better to have too much than too little. Okay. This, I'm going to prop up. It deserves to be raised. Oh, and I did have one more thing I thought about doing, gang. Which I can do before this. I just wasn't sure if it was going to work. But one of the stamps in the lovely lily, blah, 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 lovely lily pad is this one. That just looks like water, right? So I did go ahead and mount it because I thought maybe I'd bring in the Bermuda Bay here. So let me do something here. Oh, come on, work with me. First of all, I'm just going to stamp it full strength, and then I'm going to stamp it off. So full strength, stamped off. And let's see which we like better. And I'm thinking the stamped off. I do like it. I think we need that little bit of blue. But I definitely want it stamped off. So there's that. We'll come down here and just put right there. And I liked it because I wanted to bring a little bit, bit of the Bermuda. Ah, come here. Close. A little bit of the Bermuda Bay to this front piece. All right, so I can take off the backings. Y'all, I found one of the backings in a jar of cookies. Tell me how. Mm -hmm. All right, and it can hang off just a little bit. It doesn't really matter. I just want to make sure I have good balance, and I think I like it like that. Oh, I really like it. Okay, so that's going to go there. Obviously, we can't glue the entire thing down or we wouldn't be able to open it, right? So we have to make sure that we don't glue any further. And I'm going to say to just past our lily pad gives me a good guide. You could prop it up if you wanted to as well, but I like to kind of keep in mind I might be mailing stuff. So, just put it there, and then put it down, trying to make sure that, oops, I got my ego, um, that it's straight, number one, and that I have an equal distance from there to there, and that's looking pretty balanced to me. Okay. I think we need a little extra because this is a whole lot of white space going on. Even though we have our uh, pretty flirty flamingo border, I'm thinking there's some other really nice stamps in here. And it will also give me the opportunity to show you this is what's called reversible stamps. So you see how you've got um, the detailed image, and then you kind of have just the shadow image. To get that, what you're going to do is you're going to stamp the detailed part first, and then you're going to flip it over, re-ink it. In my case, I'll stamp off, and then you'll stamp right over it. Pretty cool, huh? So let's see. I don't want too much. Let's see what I want to do. But we've got a couple of really cute ones in here. We even have one that has a leaf. So, peel off this one. And do that. And then we can also do, okay, which is the detailed side, Linda? There we go. We can also do that. 
Okay, I'm liking that. So, let's see. I've got Flirty Flamingo for my front lily. So, I think we need to do our other lilies out of that as well. So, let me just see here. There it is. Stamped full, almost, and stamped off. I'm liking, I think, let me try that one more time. I'm liking the full strength, and then we'll stamp off for the shadow. So we'll do full strength right there. I know I'm risking it because, and that did not work very well at all. Let me see if I can go back in. For some reason, I didn't press down in the middle. Okay, come on, get the ink off. Okay, well, wow, that's not too bad. <laughs> Luckily, it's photopolymer. I never would have been able to do that with uh, red rubber, right? Our cling stamps can't see through. Okay, so let's see now if I flip it over. I guess I should clean it off first. If I flip it over, and remember, this is the flat side, but let's see how it works. So I'm going to stamp off like that and then come back in and stamp over my image. What do you think? Should I do that or should I just leave it the way it is? Decisions, decisions. Well, while we're thinking about that, we can go ahead and stamp our other one right up here in the corner. This is our little bud. So full strength and stamped off. It's going to be full strength. And bear in mind that I have a stem I could put on. Hmm, do I want to put the stem on? Maybe I don't. Maybe I just want to come in here. This time I'll press hard to make sure I get a good image. I kind of like that. Now let me see what the flat side of this looks like. So again, I'm going to stamp off. Let me do a better job of that. There we go. And then stamp there. I really kind of like that. I like this one without because I've got all these kind of little shadow images from where I goofed up. But this one up here, let's give it a whirl. So stamped off. Come in here, line it up, and stamp. Oh, yeah. I like that. I like that a lot. Didn't even have to worry about doing my stems. All right. So I'm much happier with that. Yeah, a little smudge there, but we can take care of that. Um, because it helps to fill in that space. And when you open it, it looks like it belongs there. So I'll bet you think we're done, huh? <laughs> we got to finish dressing it. So we need a little bit of sparkle, sparkle. And I'm going to do that just on this one. I just love how that light flirty flamingo looks. They really do. Now I'm dying to try that with a lot of other stuff. Okay, so we got a little sparkle going on with our lily. Because, you know, it's a birthday, right? So, got to have a little sparkle. And then, we got to pull out our bling bling box and see what we can see do we have anything that would really set this off so nope nope could always use pearls because we can color those nope mm, I don't have nope don't have any colors that would work ooh hmm I don't know. What do you guys think? Is that too blue? Or too greenish, I should say. Too greenish blue? Don't want rhinestones. Oh, and we also have these. Ooh, ooh. That would work as well. I like those a lot better than that. So we'll put that away. And the pearls I like, but I think they get lost. So, yep. These are the Noble Peacock rhinestones. 
And the blue I'm looking at here, the blue-green, I'm sure that's pretty peacock. But it's going to work well with our Bermuda Bay. So, pull it out here. Get out my little, where'd she go? And let's see what we want to do. So, I want one here, I already know. I'm going to put, come here you. I got a little smudgy smudgy going on. Well, that'll cover that up nicely. And then let's do one more. So we like threes, right? Let's do one more. Right there. No, I don't know. Right there. Yeah, I like that balance better. And that's it. We are done. Woohoo! So super quick and easy to make and it incorporates some of my favorite favorite colors and the um, Lily Impressions DSP is just beautiful beautiful so I hope you guys will give this a try and that you look forward to the mini catalog and celebration because remember you can get the stamp set the dies and the paper all for free with a qualifying purchase I'm excited how about you guys all right let me see does anybody have any questions hello Sandy yeah paper sips are great I just bought another pair hello Amy thanks for joining Hi, Linda. All right. Well, that's all I wanted to show you for tonight. So I will let you get back to your Saturday evening. I hope you all have a blessed day tomorrow, and I will see you next Saturday. Bye-bye now.